everyone, in this video I'll be reviewing this Android smartphone. It's by a brand called Ulifone. Model number is Armor X7 and it's a rugged solid smartphone. Now this smartphone is worth less than £100 UK currency so it's quite affordable. It's a rugged smartphone so perfect for those who want a phone that when you drop it it wouldn't break. When it goes below a certain level of water um, it's waterproof so you can stay there for around 30 minutes. Um, this can go around uh, just about above 1.5 meters of water and it can stay it can stay there for around 30 minutes without getting damaged it's also dust proof and shock proof and it's a very chunky phone though to be honest um, but for the pricing it does have a lot of features built in and obviously one or two negative sides but it comes with a lot of accessories as well now a lot of rug smartphones that I reviewed never comes with a screen protector it doesn't really need a case to be honest because it's designed in a way where it, would, it wouldn't break even if it falls okay because of the the way it's built but this one comes with a screen protector basic normal one no it's not a tempered screen protector you get spare one as well um, it also comes with a user manual here it also comes with a two pin charger now obviously if you're from UK you might need to get an adapter and charge it or you got the cable here so just put it in another adapter and just charge it so it doesn't really it wouldn't really bother anyone it also comes with these so these are to open up the sim tray now these are very difficult to open these sim trays um, because these are designed to be waterproof this bit with your nails you won't be able to open it and a lot of um, rug smartphone don't come with these extra tools to open but this one came with it so very simple do this and it comes off and then you got the sim tray one you just push it open like that Too difficult to even get it out all right I got it out now this takes basically a nano sim and it can take another nano sim as well so it's a dual sim smartphone or you can put a nano sim and a micro SD memory card so the micro SD memory card it will take up to 128 gig so we can increase the memory there but it has built in um, 16 gig this smartphone and 2 gig RAM so at least you can increase the memory on this smartphone okay so I'm putting it back in now the other features it has it has the custom customizable um, button on the left side uh, at the bottom if you open this up that's where the micro USB charging port is at the top if you open this up you got 3.5 millimeters headphone jack so you can uh, listen to music with wired earphones also you know these days everyone has bluetooth earphones you can use the bluetooth earphones on this side you got the volume buttons and the uh, power button there at the front you got one camera and at the back you got one camera as well okay with dual led lights and it has a fingerprint um, unlock button here speakers at the bottom here and you can see that the d design of this is pretty good. It looks very solid smartphone that it won't break. There, but there are smartphones within this price range that have bare built um, material. So they, some of them are made out of aluminium um, alloy material that feels a lot better. But this is pure plastic. The back base is made out of hard rubber. Again, okay, most of it is plastic as well. That's in between and stuff but it's hard um, case at the back plastic around it now when you start up it goes straight to the Android startup so I've already went through there so I just want to show you now you got 2 gig RAM it's not enough to be honest um, if you download one or two apps it will start slowing down automatically now this is for those who just want to download one app for example WhatsApp or Gmail or something like that that's it then it should be fine one or two apps or three apps that's fine but 2 gig RAM won't be enough to you know store up too many apps and be operated at the same time because it will slow down very easily now it's smooth at the moment because nothing's downloaded it's literally I've just gone to the main menu now now let me start off with the outdoor tools because rug smartphone all of them because it's more for builder builders and stuff you have these special tools that other smartphones wouldn't have now you've got compass 
gradient, uh, your flashlight, you got hanging, paint, painting. So you got that option there. Um, you got the height meter, you got magnifier, you got alarm bell, you got plumb bob, and sound meter as well. So you got all those options there. And uh, you got sound recorder there. You got children um, space here. So if you have children, you can automatically put on children mode, and you can uh, put it in way where you know you you got the control, you got parental lock basically. Now let me go to camera. I got only one camera at the uh, rear side and one camera at the front, like a basic smartphones that used to come out in 2018, roughly or 2019. These days, all dual camera or triple cameras. Now, for a, one camera, I've done it. I've took a few pictures. Um, picture in normal mode and ultra HD mode. You got ultra HD built into this when it takes photos and HDR recording as well. Um, but bear in mind, it didn't really put much effort in cameras. Okay, otherwise they would have really had two if, uh, triple cameras there or dual cameras there with better megapixels, etc. But let me show you. It has a few other modes like night mode. Um, ultra HD, you got a few good modes. Uh, the flash mode is here, okay, and it has a photo mode. So I've taken a f uh, I've done a recording, so let me show you this recording. Okay, so this is how it's capturing my voice. And to be honest, when you're recording, it's fine, it's just that it's not like a high quality camera. So when you're moving side to side, it doesn't keep up with that. So it's very blurry. You can see that my hands are very... It's like I've got like a couple of hands right now when I'm moving. But when you keep it still, it's pretty good when it focuses. Okay, so video-wise, it's not the best, to be honest. Um, sound quality-wise, it doesn't really... It, 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 it's, it's very squeaky. It doesn't really have much in the sound quality as well. So if you listen, if you want to listen to music through the speaker, it doesn't really have that quality um, speaker built in. So bear that in mind as well. Pictures I've taken. Let me show you. So that's a few pictures. That's a picture I've taken. That's another one. Same picture. So one was ultra HD. One was just normal. They look the same to be honest. Don't really see any difference. But they don't really. It's no camera. is not really the main focus regarding this smartphone. Now let me go to settings. It's also 4G, so that's a good um, thing about this smartphone. It's not 3G, and it has built-in IP68 and IP69K. It's also on Android 10. Okay, let me just show you. So, Android 10. So you can see that's on Android 10. And let me go back to the settings again. And it also has custom keys and face unlock and fingerprint unlock as well it also has other few features like glove mode and versatile outdoor toolkit that i've shown you it also has a built-in 4000 mah battery capacity this smartphone so that's decent enough to give you a whole day usage like continuous usage it has a 5.0 screen and ips screen it has a dual led with a rear camera of 30 megapixel, front camera is a 5 megapixel. Bluetooth 5.0 and supports a um, notification light as well. So it also has a notification light. Now, it has SIM card, Wi Fi, Bluetooth. So if I go to Bluetooth, you got, the, you got all those options there. Uh, one Another good thing about this smartphone, which is really good, is that it has NFC. So you can actually use your Google Pay and pay things through this smartphone. That's a good feature regarding a smartphone below 100 pounds a lot of smartphones don't have that below 100 pounds so that's a good thing it also has face unlock it also has fingerprint unlock as well navigation bar um, custom keys sound so if you go to sound you get you can control those customize it go system languages so you got well all android smartphones will have basic cover all languages it has intelligent assistance as well so you can flip to silent smart answer anti fake touch mode free free finger screenshot free finger skid start split screen so you've got quite a few good features jump to camera glove pattern so you can use your glove to actually operate this smartphone as well 
and you got location you got security the security is here so you can update you can post the basics uh, locks if you want the pin pattern swipe lock um, you got smart touch here as well where you got the gesture mode you got the menu mode single click double click long press you can customize those as well to be honest for a smartphone below 100 pounds and has all these features it's pretty good you also had digital well-being and parental controls there as well at the bottom and dura speed so overall in my opinion for a smartphone less than 100 pounds with all these features it's pretty impressive the only downside is that the speaker is not as good battery life would give you just about a day's usage but when you because it has a USB type um, a micro USB charging port and doesn't have a USB Type C fast charge, it takes quite long to actually actually charge up again. So that's the downside. They could have added the fast charge; it would have made it a lot better. And build quality wise, is perfect. The buttons work perfectly. Um, all the buttons work perfectly, and they're very stable as well. Now this smartphone has build excellent build quality. It comes with all the accessories that's needed. In my opinion, I do re recommend it uh, for the pricing and it's worth it. So, thank you for watching my video. Please do give a like and subscribe.